Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, I hope everyone is well. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there with like major watch dates this week and stuff. Um, I definitely agree. It could definitely happen this week. It's very exciting. Um, but I wanted to give you something encouraging today. Um, so last night, I always wait until after midnight um, to listen to the Bible app. And it's kind of like my tradition with Jesus. Like, I love our time together. He's amazing. So I fall asleep with my headphones on while I'm listening to the Bible. And I had a dream last night. I was in heaven, in the spiritual realm. And I was with Jesus. And I was with the 24 elders. And Jesus had the scroll in his hand. And he was reading it. And Jesus has given me many prophecies on the scroll has been passed and I realized that Jesus words are speaking for future I think that future just happened and it's very exciting um, so and this is even more exciting okay I'm like a kid I'm sorry <laughs> um, when I woke up it was on revelation okay and it was on literally just what I dreamt the elders um, and the scroll I was like what um, so I didn't look at the Bible verse I just listened to it so I'm pretty sure that was revelation because I slept through the whole night and I felt the Holy Spirit wake me up and then I was like you this cannot be coincidence I mean I'm literally dreaming this and then I wake up and it's on that verse now listen to this. So we do Zooms every morning, um, the 12 of us, um, usually around 11. And I get on Zoom before I even tell my dream or anything. Um, McKenna starts speaking because we always kind of speak about revelations we've gotten the day before or whatever. McKenna said last night the Lord was giving her a message. And the message ended on that scripture of passing the scroll and... Um, the elders <laughs> and she didn't know about my dream yet so that was really cool confirmation and then not done and then Cassie from Faith of Revere 44 she got a message from Jesus this morning as well literally confirming past the scroll um, the elders all of that stuff like literally Jesus spoke to all three of us at different times without knowing what each one of us got. Then Anna from Kind Words, she got a small message as well um, confirming the elders and passing the scroll. So guys, Jesus has his scroll in his hand and I'm very excited about it. And it was a really cool experience being in heaven um, in my dream. and. Um, Wow, it was just such an encouraging moment. And I'm really excited about it. I'm actually gonna take a few days and go visit my mama, you know, since there's um, high watch days and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. But um, if you do not know Jesus, you know, believe in him with all your heart um, and, you know, ask him to come into your life. Um, it's confess he's Lord with your mouth you know it's it's you're saved by your faith in him and your belief in him and you give him your heart um, it's through repentance you know it's change of mind turning from sin and and believing in Jesus and let him take your sins away and he also changes your heart um, so Jesus is beautiful if you don't know him he's so beautiful and I say it because not a lot of people really know the real Jesus. You know, they, they look at him like he's very strict and, and yes, he, he's a law, a God of order and, and laws, um, but his grace is so beautiful. So if you believe in him with all your heart and, and you're falling short, don't worry. Just, just pray to Jesus, worship Jesus and ask him ask him you know to take away any burden you have and he'll give you rest we all are always going to fall short and we're not saved by doing the works to help um just to try to we're not saved on works we're saved by faith now you know you have works just based on um 
being righteous and everything, but it's not, you, the salvation part is not your works, it's your belief in Jesus. And a lot of people mix that up and, and mess that up. So um, I'm super excited. I'm going to keep looking up every day. And um, I'm not doing a, a, a day or anything like that. Um, the Lord, he speaks some things to me. And, um, you know, he has spoken the 27th to me before, like a while ago. And I wasn't sure what it meant. But so I just, I look up every day because I feel like every day is a high watch day for the Lord and for the people saying that no one knows the day or the hour, man doesn't know the day or the hour. The spirit does know, we feel it in our spirit. We feel Jesus is coming soon. Um, and you have to keep reading because it says after that in Matthew 24, it says, but you are not gonna be in the dark about these things because you are children of the light. So, and he wants us to watch for him. He asks us to watch for him. So, you know, for the people condemning you because you're excited about Jesus' return and you want to be in heaven with Jesus um, to praise him and, and worship him because he's, he's love. He's so much love. And I think people miss the love part. So, um, anyway. I'm very excited today, and um, I hope everyone has a blessed day. Jesus came um, to the earth in the flesh. He bled and died on the cross for us, for our sins, and he rose on the third day. Um, ignore the people on YouTube trying to scam you. And um, I hope to see you all in the clouds soon because things are just really unfolding everywhere, and um, it's super exciting. And do not forget, you know, if for some reason you're not one of the elect and you get caught and you don't get caught up right away remember Jesus is giving you a chance he's giving you a chance to believe in him when darkness falls you pray to him without seizing in the house and he will save you um, so and that's kind of where the world wind comes in I explained it in previous videos but basically a brief brief is that the Revelation 3.10, um, I will keep you from the hour of trial coming on the whole world. And if you look at Israel, from sun to sun down is 12 hours. And if you look at the Maseroth, when he said that, um, I'll give you that last minute in a previous prophecy, um, it's 24, but he also spoke half time to me. So he's given people that extra 12 hours to really believe in him before major destruction falls they're going to see some destruction. It's not going to be an easy 12 hours. Um, so, but it's not too late. So remember these words. Okay. I love you guys so much and, um, have a blessed day. God bless.